Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. My name is Jess. I'll be walking you through how I use Everbee and how I use it to do product research, keyword research, and how I use it to optimize my listings to try to get them to rank higher organically in the Etsy search. I have links for Everbee down in the description below if you want to give it a go. I've only been using this program for maybe a month, but I have a whole bunch of things after really diving into it that I want to really put a lot of effort and time into and put them and implement them into my listing to see if I can help them improve. All of these things I will walk you through on my screen so that you can see it in real time and you can see how you can use this to improve your own listings in Etsy search. The first step of course is to visit the Everbee website and sign up. You can try it for free or you can sign up for one of their membership tiers as you can see here. So you can try it for free, you can sign up for the hobby plan which costs absolutely nothing or you can sign up for the pro or growth plan depending on what your needs are and how much you really want to dive into the system. So once you're all set up you'll have a variety of features you can use for your own product research which I'll walk you through with my own Etsy shop. The first thing I would do is search for a product in Etsy itself. So as you all know, Notion templates, we'll look that up. And then once the little B loads, it shows you the monthly searches that that item gets and what the related search item gets. So Notion templates gets 750 monthly searches roughly. And then like Life Planner gets 537. So that one's obviously quite high as well. Whereas ones like Notion templates for social media gets one monthly search. So not the best one there. So if we just click into it, bring up that search, and then you can go over to the side menu. This is part of of the Chrome extension so when you sign up for Everbee you would want to sign up for the Chrome extension and install that too and here you can just click product analytics and this will bring up the listings that are under Notion templates and you can order it based on what you want to look at so if you want to look at the stores that have the most monthly sales on average you can target it that way I always ignore the this top one because it's sort of like a bundle where someone's put in a bunch of stuff and it's kind of ridiculous it's like a thousand digital products so of course that's gonna sell but like that's not something everyone can make so so we'll sort of focus on these ones. Sort of ignore this one too because this one's sort of also a bit out the gate. But here we go, like Notion template extended. You can pull these out. Life planner, all in one template, Notion dashboard. So that one's getting on average about 200 sales a month, which is obviously something we'd want to aim for. So that's insane. You can see how many times it's sold in total. The reviews it's getting, how old it is. So it's eight months old and it's sold nearly 1800 times. You can see the favorites, the reviews, the views, shop age, and then the score visibility. So this is sort of how well it's doing in Etsy if people are looking for a Notion template like this one's like a hundred percent like someone searches for Notion template that's gonna pop up the conversion rate which is also really cool to see so you can see which ones when people are stumbling across them are actually selling as well which is a really handy thing to know so for example this one down here Notion template like the business one even though it's not selling as much and it's older the conversion rates a lot higher so people are clearly when they're finding it really liking this listing if you really want to see a bit more data you can click it and you'll get the side menu pop up with a whole bunch more detail. This is sort of what was in the table but it's a bit easier to see when it's laid out this way and then you can see all of their keywords, the search volume for that keyword which is really handy and then the trend graph which I assume is only if there is a trend because some keywords may not historically be old enough to have that I guess. So as you can see here they've got a few that have a really high search volume which of course you want then they have a few that don't and this is probably because these ones a lower competition so even though they don't get a huge amount of search these ones will get a huge amount of search but the competition is probably insane for them as well so they've sort of leveled it out with a few high volume mid volume and like lower volume but you probably wouldn't I personally would wouldn't want any under maybe like 200 just to make sure there is enough search for them and that's sort of how I would go about my initial product research if I was thinking of selling a product I would make sure that that item for example has there is a demand for it so because this item, these items are selling, there clearly is people wanting them. So I would know that a life template or business planner, all in one planners are a really good thing to aim for. I hope that all made sense. Another cool thing with this graph is you can change which data you actually want to look at. So if you're not interested in like the listing reviews, how old it is, how the average reviews per month, etc. You can just take those down and you can just look at the data that you want to focus on, which is really handy to not get sort of bogged down by too much information. So there's also a keyword research feature in Everbee. So again, if you want to search for Notion template, 
you can do that and you can very clearly see the search volume and the competition so the search volume isn't like it's high but the competition is also quite high so that's why this just notion template alone isn't enough and then if we customize here we can put the competition and keyword score in and then I would sort of again if I'm wanting to list a notion template I would put that in and then I would search down here for keywords that have a decent volume but the competition isn't crazy high so like templatable <laughs> that I don't think is a word has 4.5 million competition so that's not a word that we want to go for the keyword score is only one which is really low I sort of as I'm doing this I'll glance down and see what keywords are sort of here like they're in the hundreds and I'll be like okay that's not too bad and there's some here where you'll see did, um, again I don't know that I would use this because it's a typo but it has a good keyword score so here we go digitables template has a really good search volume the competition is only half as high as the search volume and the keyword score is really high so this is one I would note down and maybe try out on a template maybe not all of them because you never know but things like that is what you would look out for when using Everbee high search volume low competition and a good keyword score the other feature I really like in Everbee is the my listings tab so you can go down here and see all of that data you saw before but just for your shop so you can see your average sales per month the average price the average views average favorites average reviews conversion rate etc I'm not sure why that is so low but we'll just ignore that so here again the same data you can see average monthly sales the price the monthly revenue roughly the total sales reviews listing age etc etc so the one thing that I'm gonna try now that I'm using Everbee is to go through this data specifically and find my listings that have a good visibility score which is not many of them so here we go for example my reading journal which i already know is one of my good sellers and so is this one have a decent visibility score it's not good but it's not terrible it's not zero like some of them so i would have a look at these and sort of check the data and see why these ones are doing so well or try and figure out why they're doing well and figure out how to put that into my other listings so that they can all start doing well or at least try so here's a good example is some of these keywords might the search volume might just be too high in the fact that the competition is probably really high too so I need to go through check every single keyword and check what the score is for them using that keyword research feature and then check if they're ones I want to keep or not like I said this one's doing pretty well so I wouldn't focus too much on this one yet although obviously we want to try and get it into the hundreds like some of the ones we looked at before but maybe I'd look at this one that has quite a low visibility score and really go through these so you can see I have two keywords that the search volume is under 20 per month so they're not good and I should just basically get rid of them and replace them with something else and then maybe having digital planner is just there's just too much competition and it's not worth it and maybe I should put it in the description but not in the in the keyword the, in the tags so that's sort of how you could sort of audit your own listings and maybe do this do this for a couple listings each month or whatever is manageable for your own workload but that's my next steps with my shop because once again this month is sort of dropping off and I, I never really know why so we're gonna see if we can pull it back again another cool feature is the favorite so you can go into you can favorite any listings that you see are doing really well and you sort of want to figure out what about them is doing well come into the favorites tab on the side and then use tag analyzer if we click this and let it load it's gonna go through every single tag in all of those listings and give you the data on them so once again we'll turn competition and keyword score on and we can now see those keywords which ones are good and which ones are performing really well so for example here plan a notion is really good like that's a really high keyword score the competition is only just higher than the search volume so that's definitely one that I would be like oh, okay that's I want to try that out just sort of look through any others that might be useful obviously you're not going to put money tracker on a template for book trackers or anything like you want to still make sure they are as accurate to your listing as possible but it's just sort of a good starting point to see which words could be useful for you and don't forget that although these are in the tags you also want to implement them into your titles and your description one thing I quite like too is this listing rank tracker where it again pulls all of your listings in and it shows you how they are tracking in Etsy search so again if we look at this light academia reading journal is three of the keywords in that listing are ranking in the top 10 which 
is pretty decent like you you want to definitely be in that top 10 group and it's showing me that two of them have moved up and weren't previously in there I think last month or last time I checked I'm not 100% on that data but that's sort of in the organic search ranking of Etsy so this is where you want to be you want to be organically ranking on the platform so that when people are searching for things you're really high up and you're found once you click into it you can see which ones are doing well the problem is, is the ones that we're ranking for quite highly like this is also one that doesn't have a good search volume. So it's hard to know whether it's really worth it or not. But it's just something to keep a brief eye on. If you see some that are starting to drop, like this one that's not performing as well anymore, maybe like check in and see why and see if you can sort of pull out keywords that are performing well and ones that aren't. I hope you found that walkthrough helpful. As I mentioned, these are sort of the systems I've found within Everbee that I think will be really useful and I'm going to try implement into my listings to see if they help. I'll be doing that over the next month or so and I'll be tracking the progress and updating you all in my monthly Etsy stat videos so keep a lookout for that but hopefully you found this useful if you haven't used Everbee before I recommend giving it a go like I said there's a free version so you've got nothing to lose let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful I've been really enjoying doing these sort of walkthrough videos with you and I'm planning to I've been building a second brain in Notion recently so I'm gonna do a walkthrough of that soon as well as hopefully list that on my Etsy store soon as well now that I'm also using Everbee and Sale Samurai I'm going to do a bit of a comparison between the two and sort of show the pros and cons of each and what I like or don't like about each so that if you only want to give one a go then you can sort of weigh up your options a bit more. So yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you in the next one.